Veronica Kokieva, legal, legal team leader uh, of Schneider Group. What are the main problems and uh, difficulties, uh, difficulties and sanctions for Italian firm of food and beverage sector? Uh, as you know, the food embargo was imposed um, as a countermeasures of Russian government for the sanctions that were imposed in 2014 by the European Union. And uh, this embargo covers a lot of products which are usually and were usually pr produ produced and delivered by Italian producers to Russia. Uh, those are meat products, dairy products, uh, especially cheese. And uh, today Italian producers face a lot of difficulties uh, with delivering this because uh, some of these products are strictly prohibited, directly prohibited by the embargo list. Some, uh, some of them, uh, I mean, some of uh, the producers are not aware of uh, whether their products are in the list or they are not in the list. So a lot of fears uh, are presented uh, in the market now. Uh, but we believe if uh, you, as a producer, uh, read carefully the law, then you will find some solutions. Uh, there are several types of solutions and uh, one of them and the most preferable one probably is the localization of product pro producing uh, or having the contract manufacturing. So even facing these uh, severe difficulties uh, of uh, the embargo, uh, we may say that it still does not prohibit you uh, in general from entering into the market or uh, it is not a reason for uh, losing the market. So probably uh, Italian producers will face some new uh, challenges uh, in the next few months. Uh, I hope that this will not be the case, but still, on 4th of June, uh, Mr. Putin signed another uh, federal law, which will entrust and uh, allow the Russian government to impose new counter sanctions. And um, there are uh, opinions that uh, wine, which was not in the first embargo list, will be included into this uh, second wave of countermeasures. Um, we hope this will not be the case, but uh, if this happens, then uh, another great, I mean, huge volume of uh, Italian import will be affected by these countermeasures. Okay, uh, what do you expect uh, about uh, the um, about the the new the new trend uh, for these uh, sanctions? Uh, uh, they uh, will uh, do. Will they be removed, or or uh, the situation will be the same uh, on uh, on this on these uh, last years? Uh, well, considering uh, how the situation was developing from uh, starting from 2014, uh, I unfortunately cannot say that uh, the prognosis will be positive because, as we see, European Union is uh, prolonging and renewing and uh, expanding their sanctions. Uh, for sure, this will not be acceptable for Russia as well, and Russia will continue uh, making its countermeasures, introducing counter sanctions. So, uh, I cannot see the end of this story. Um, in other way, uh, just if uh, the European Union will stop at some point and Italy raises its uh, voice regularly and uh, we see that Italian producers are facing a lot of difficulties and are um, facing huge uh, damages uh, due to these sanctions and counter sanctions. So hopefully uh, our governments will hear uh, the voice of our producers, importers and exporters and uh, this will end at some point.